Shalom, my friends. We should never be able to get over quickly tragedies like the one which took place in Tucson, Arizona. Six people killed, 14 wounded. It is a national tragedy, and I think also it threw America into a national trauma. In its aftermath, we have reached a time of reflection, a time to reflect on how divided our society has become and how easy it is to demonize those who believe differently in today's political climate. Our sages give us a wonderful lesson from that moment long ago when the Israelites crossed the Red Sea. That story is found in the Torah portion we read just this past Shabbat. The Israelites make it to the other side, but as you know, the Egyptians were all drowned in the sea. And we're told in a beautiful story offered by the rabbis that the angels started to sing in celebration and triumph, and God hushed them. And he said, don't sing, don't sing now because my creatures have drowned in that water. And what that Midrash was telling us is that God wanted to rebuke the angels because they failed to see that the Egyptians were still human beings. They were still God's creatures. And so the angels singing, God couldn't allow it to happen without that stunning rebuke. They are my, my creatures too. My friends, I attended just a short while ago the event commemorating the first anniversary of the earthquake, that tragic earthquake in Haiti. Over 300,000 people killed. And there was a Sikh priest who spoke at the event. And he told about the holy temple of the Sikhs. And he said that that temple has four openings, north, south, east, and west. And people enter the temple from all four sides. And he said the point of it is that people have to enter that temple understanding that when they meet in that holy place, they have to be able to stand together no matter which side they're coming from. They have to be able to stand together. And that fundamental lesson is something that we need to appreciate better in American life today. There's a, a lesson that I want to share with you that comes actually just by counting the number of letters in the Torah. We know that the middle letter, the very middle letter of all the hundreds of thousands of letters in the Torah is the letter Vav, which appears in the book of Leviticus. I believe it's chapter 12. The letter Vav, it's actually a word. And it means and. Vav is a conjunctive. It joins what comes before with what comes afterwards. And the teaching is very simple, that at the very middle of the Torah is the teaching that what comes before and what comes after must be joined together. The very imperative of our tradition is to conjoin people, to bring people together. Religion, that word means actually binding people together through faith. Today, is the day that we commemorate the life of the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. I'll be going to several events commemorating this great, this great man. How much we need a man like the Reverend Martin Luther King today in American life. What he did was to live his life believing that America could be reconnected that black and white didn't have to be separate. He was like that Vav. He believed that you could bring Americans together regardless of the color of their skin. And we have to believe 
Not only that, but that we can bring Americans together with our varying viewpoints, our political points of view, red America, blue America, we could all come together because there is that lesson of the Vav, that we do belong joined together. So my friends, I think America is a holy temple. Every inch of it is a holy temple. It is God's gift to all of us and God's gift to the world. Let us learn on this day and the days ahead. In the aftermath of Tucson and in the aftermath of too many other events that have occurred in our history, that in this holy temple, whether we come from north or south, east or west, whether we come from blue states or red states, we can all come together, stand together, and be Americans together. Thank you very much. We'll speak to you soon.